Hey, what is up guys? This is I Apple Helper and today I have a video for you and I am really sorry for basically not doing anything the whole summer. I had my laptop left behind while I went to the United States. Anyway, so um, today is just a fun video on how to basically uh, do a few things with your dock and um, yeah, just kind of theme up your computer a little bit. Uh, as you see, I haven't uh, quite finished everything here, but you know, I did a little bit of work um, on some of the apps that I really want to get a look at. And one of the things I'm going to configure right now is to show you is a um, what the dock looks like. So, sorry, there wasn't someone in my room. Um, okay, so, as you can see, some of these applications look a little bit different. Um, so, I have a few that I'm going to show you on how to change. Um, so, Spotify, Skype, Settings, App Store, iTunes, etc., some of these all look really different and um, yeah so let's go and see how all this works so um, okay so you need to have an application called candy bar and another one called um, C doc right here okay so um, I'll have the links for both of these working on the description on the YouTube video. Um, so yeah, let's actually look at CDoc first. So this is kind of like what CDoc is going to look like. It literally is an application that opens up like this and um, this is all you have. This is it. So I would like to say that when you apply a change, the application down here will um, it'll no longer uh, operate, meaning it'll just quit and you'll have to start over again. But the whatever the changes you made will be applied. So it's a free app and um, that's the only downside of it, but I love it and it really should not be that bothersome because, yeah. So you have lots of different options here on your dock. Um, Let's show you maybe what a banana would look like. So you just tap apply and your screen goes like that. And my dock should come up. And here you go. This is exactly what it looks like. It's a banana color. So if you like banana, you might like it. I mean, you should go back into settings and just turn off the magnification. So here's what it kind of looks like. Um, oops. Well, I might as well. Sorry about that. Anyway, so um, you go into recent applications, and we'll just check out another one. Let's check out Yosemite for all of you Yosemite people out there. Um, this is kind of like what Yosemite looks like. It's not really anything special. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of like what Yosemite looks like. Um, this is among one of the favorites that a lot of dock tweakers like. So, I kind of like it a lot too. It kind of, um, let me just open up settings. It really looks a lot like what Yosemite's or iOS 7 dock would look like if it were darker like that. It would be like a jailbroken tweak or something. So let's go on to the magnification. So it's really nice actually. And yeah, I kind of like it. Um, depends on whether or not you like it. Um, let's look at one more under this dock tweak. And we'll do, hmm, let's do base, tap apply. Here's what base will look like. It's really nice. Actually, this is a lot like iOS 7. 
So I'm just going to tap magnification, and there you go. So those are your apps and what they look like. And yeah, if you have any questions on this, just let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoy these. Okay, so there are a few app, um, sorry settings here, and there's not really much, so it's quite obvious. So I'm just going to quit the app, and it'll quit as it shows, and I'm going to quit, quit that. So the next thing I want to look at is um, an application called Candy Bar, and we were just talking about it earlier. So as you can see, Candy Bar at the moment says that I have an unqualified system, and uh, yeah, so it just basically doesn't work. However, do not update because um, it'll continue saying whatever it wants to say, so uh, or the same message. So I just suggest that you keep it like this. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to change an application, a PNG file, um, using this application. So once again, do not update, just deal with the message. Um, so yeah, I'll have all the links in the description for this to work. Okay, so you need to open up a finder. And as you can see, I, I changed some even system apps. Um, so there you go on that. So one of the things I wanna talk to you about is that um, these applications, some of them will require your administrator password because they are not third-party applications, meaning they're actually Apple's applications or the apps that came with your computer. However, if you have third-party apps like um, Candy Bar, CDoc, I'm trying to think of another one, uh, Spotify even, I changed it already, they won't ask you for a password, they'll just simply um, just change the app for you. So we're gonna change the application dictionary, this one, and or sorry, we're gonna change the application calendar and I'm gonna show you kinda what calendar would look like so actually mine the minute I open it it'll apply the changes because I already kinda did it so if I open it and oh yep yeah, no this will work sorry I forgot I did it the different way and it didn't work yada 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 let's just try to change it okay so type in calendar Um, I think you can find them under the Yosemite applicant. Here we go. So you're going to just simply tap or right click on your computer and tap copy. You're going to go back into Finder and you're going to hit Get Info. You're going to click on the calendar logo and then tap in Command V. And the minute you do that, it'll ask you for your administrative password. Just type it in and hit the OK. And to test the application, just X out of that, tap the app, and I see it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. So we'll just try another application here. I'm trying to think of an app that we can. Mission Control worked. Okay, so we're going to just try another app and see if we can um, have it changed but I need to think of the app that I want to... Okay, here's a good one, Safari. Sorry for the, for the malfunction here. So, going to Safari, I like dots best, so just type in Safari. Here we go. I'm gonna personally pick this one. I like that one. So I'm just gonna tap Copy go back into Finder, tap S for Safari, right click on it, tap Get Info, 
Oops. And it will change. So in order for it to work, we will have to open up Safari and then it'll work. You only have to open it once and it will work. There you go. And tap quit. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you how to change a an application that is actually not Apple's. For example, Caffeine. Great application from the App Store. It is not actually, it didn't come with the computer, so let's try to see if they have an app for it. Caffeine, cafe. Is that even how you call it? Hang on, let's see if it'll show up with some. Oh, nope. Okay, so let me just go back into Finder. Okay, it's two Fs. Okay. Nope. So it might have it under one of these. Actually, Yosemite might have it. Nope. Okay, let me see if there's another app that I can change for you. Reminders. Great. For all you people that use reminders. Okay, so this is one of the options from Yosemite called Reminder. I didn't think there's anything in yep, nope, nothing here. Here's Reminder. Nope, that's Adobe. One more place. I'm just trying to show you a few like okay, no. So you can have the dots version, that one or the Yosemite version, and I'm pretty sure they're both the same. So your choice. I like this one. Um, so I'm gonna ch we're going to change it, and it's another system app, unfortunately, but um, they're literally the just, I mean, the only difference is, like I said, you can't, or you won't have to type in a password if it's a third-party app, so... Yeah, um, okay, so where is Reminders? Hmm, where is Reminders? I swear I saw it. Okay, here we go. So right click on it. And Command V. Your admin password and you're good. There you go. So once again to apply the change because of candy bars suckish thing, just close it and force quit. There you go. So that's all you have to do. And then I changed some other apps like if you go into Finder, if you go like to Downloads, um, here you can see that the app is a little bit bigger. Let me just try to hone in for you. Oh. Anyway, you can kind of see that the folders changed a little bit, so, yeah. Okay, that's a little too big for me, so. I like mine, like, oh god, I didn't even know how I had it. Oh, I don't mind full screen. Okay, there you go. So, there. that's how the two of those applications work. And one more, actually, the application that I want to talk to you about is something called um, Hyperdocs. So Hyperdocs is located, nope, Hyperdocs is this application right here. I'll have a full review of this application later on, but Hyperdocs is just basically an application that gives you some of those Windows style, Windows 7 and 8 I believe style 
things. So if I hover over an app like you see here, you see a few messages saying August 30th, I, um, well, I have school actually. Um, and then there are, on September 1st is Labor Day in the United States. I have some windows open. If I hover over them, you can see that um, as well. I have multiple windows open on this app. And let's see what happened. Oh, okay, so. And then let me just create another desktop, go into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have two, well, if, if there was another window, you can actually hit plus. Um, now you can see the two windows. So that's how those two work. So it's pretty cool. And yeah, um, I really like it. So that is basically what HyperDocs does. And one more thing actually that it does is... I'll just open up iTunes because I don't have any music in iTunes right now. So when you open up an app like this, and I'm going to hide it, normally th there would be music controls for the app. So actually, let me just quit it. Here we go. Let me just use Spotify for the heck of it. This part's really cool. So you have an app like this open. I'm going to hide it. And if you go into it, let me just quickly play something. Now, and because of audio or copy infringements, um, I won't play the thing for too long. So boom, boom. Okay, so as you can see, I have an app or a song waiting to be played. If I go over like this, and this works just like on iTunes, I can play or uh, the app. I can or sorry, play the song, pause it, go to the song before it or after, or skip it within the song itself. So yeah, it's really cool. I hope you guys liked this video. Sorry that it was long and kind of choppy, but um, and sorry if, if I made any mistakes. If I did, please com uh, comment on them for me so I can improve. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, I'll hit you up with some more videos later on. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.